Fox and I didn't know yet that both sides were preparing for battle. We had left in search of Euphony. The diva was lost and alone in that gigantic labyrinth. very beautiful. Is this really the time for chatting up flowers? Seriously! I have no doubt that you two are as kind as you are beautiful. Hmm? Would you mind parting so my friend and I can get to the other side? <laughs> Coming, Fox? <laughs> Thank you, my friends. Her. Please, I don't want her to suffer. Think of how people agree. If one of them were to see you with her with this diva, we risk being accused of conspiring with the Utians. Is that what you want? Of course not. But <gasps> I love her. How many times must I say it? Yes, I know, but you don't seem to understand how complicated this situation is. Keep moving, and don't make me remind you but again. I only came to speak to the Queen. Halt! Your Highness, we captured this Utian spy while he was trying to sneak in through the front gates of our greenhouse. Nasty little spy, start talking. Uh, the Utians are preparing for war, and it's all my fault. Uh, the Utians are planning to declare war? Well, yes. But please, you have to help me. If I find Euphony, I could explain to them that this is all a terrible misunderstanding. It's all my fault. I told Otto she had those roses, but I never meant... Anemone, you were so right. This little love story threatens to disrupt the fragile peace that exists between the Utians and your people. And yet their love seems so sincere. Does it? Do you really think that this diva would have run away like that if she were truly in love with your son? Hmm. 